welcome back to Review TV with Tiffany Marie. We will be reviewing a few wines for this new spring season. Let's get to it! months into the spring of months we usually go from a darker wine to a lighter wine well I'm just your average consumer I am no wine expert but one of my personal favorites to start this season off is Riesling now this is the Chateau Saint Michel Michel Okay, I've never had this brand before. If I did, I don't remember. But it's a Riesling. It's um, a vintage 2019. <laughs> and um, this is actually one of my favorite um, go-to spring wines because it has that really nice, light, crisp, um, you know, sweet, semi-sweet like taste to it. So we're going to take a quick sip and I'm going to explain to you everything that I might be tasting in it. Okay guys, I am a strong believer in Riesling. I believe that you can pair it with almost anything. In the springtime it's just an easy good go-to for any event and it tastes really good I'm about to show you how good it tastes but on the back of this bottle they um, explain how um, it has lovely floral aromas with crisp flavors of white peach and subtle mineral notes mmm I cannot wait to taste it They say you should put your nose all the way in the well, all the way in. <laughs> Let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. So good. Okay. So this I is a semi-sweet wine. It has a little bit of a sweet undertone to it, but not overbearing. This particular one is not on the sweeter side. It's a little bit more on the bitter side, but it has a fizz to it. So it's like, um, kind of like a soda, sparkling, uh, sparkling water. Mmm. Really good. Honestly, I don't think you could go wrong with this one. I never tried this particular brand, the Chateau St. Michel, but... It's not that bad. Um, honestly, I think I would like the Riesling to be a little bit more sweeter than this particular brand. But let's go on and move on to the next um, flavor and um, see what we got. Okay, guys. My next um, go-to is a favorite brand by most of the ladies. It is the Moscato. This is the particular rare foot brand. And I don't know if you can see that, Moscato. And um, this one actually won a gold star in 2016 in the Denver International Wine Competition. Now, one of the rule, first rules of thumbs that I learned when drinking wine was not to purchase a screw top bottle wine. You have a better chance of getting a better quality wine with a wine with a cork in it. But I'm not positive exactly how uh, factual that is because I actually had a couple of wines with the screw top and it was really good. Okay, guys. 
Okay, we're gonna try this Moscato and it is a screw top. It's the Barefoot brand. Very light, really cute looking. Um, as some people may know, the Moscato is on the sweeter side. So let's see what it do. Cheers. Can't go wrong with the Moscato. The Barefoot Moscato, delicious, okay? Let me tell you why. It is not too sweet. It's not too tart. It definitely is so gentle, so subtle. You barely like feeling like you're drinking, but you know that you are. Like it's like one of those like barely, I know I'm drinking. Definitely a wine taste to it. Mm. Delicious. Let's see what it says on the back of the, back of the label. Okay, it says that Barefoot Moscato is a sweet wine with the delif delicious mouth-watering flavors of juicy peach. Yeah. And apricot. Mm. Yeah. Hints of lemon and orange citrus complement a crisp, refreshing finish and is perfect with spicy Asian cuisine, light desserts, fresh fruit, and mild cheeses. Tasty. I can definitely see that. This is a perfect wine to have on a beautiful day with your friends, girlfriends, whoever, with some wine, some cheese, some crackers, and that banging dip. You know the one I'm talking about with your cheese, crackers, and your, um, and your grapes. Absolutely fabulous. Okay, so our next wine is the Pinot Grillo, and we got the Cupcake brand. And I literally, I, I literally went to the counter and I asked the lady, you know, what's your popular um, wine brands that's selling right now, you know? And she was like, oh, okay, I got a couple. And I literally let her walk me through and just pick out a few of the wines that um, she felt like people were purchasing. So um, this was one of them, the Cupcake Vineyard Pinot Grillo. Um, I love the bottle. It's so bright. It's so cute. And I gotta be honest, I would probably purchase this bottle as a gift. I mean, it's a cute gifting bottle. Right? Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. That is a screw top. And I'm gonna tell you guys straight up, when I first smelled I smell um, pineapple. That's the first thing that I'm smelling when I crack this open. So I'm gonna pour myself a little sip and we're gonna see how that tastes. Mm. All right, now. With this one, it's a lot less sweet. This is more like wine in the sun. <laughs> okay, the bottle says that it's crafted from grapes sourced from the foothills of the Italian Alps, making for a uniquely flavorful wine. Refreshing flavors of pear, cantaloupe, and pineapple. Look at that. How did I, I knew the pineapple, I smelt it and subtle notes of honey and zest, a uh, lemon zest. Pair with your Caesar salad, chicken fettuccine, or a poolside cabana. Didn't I say beach or water? I'm telling you, I'll be spot on sometimes. <laughs> but I'm just your average consumer. <laughs> Let's take another sip of that. Mm. Mm hmm. Okay, our next wine is another classic. It's actually the Chardonnay by Woodbridge, Woodbridge Chardonnay. I'm familiar with the brand. I am familiar with the flavor. 
but I usually don't get the Woodbridge Chardonnay. I think I usually get the darker wines in the Woodbridge. I think my favorite is either the Cab or the Merlot. But we're going to try the Chardonnay today and see what it do. I have to pop that top. Okay, guys. I got that Woodbridge open and that Chardonnay. And let's just take a look. Let's take a, um, let's see what that's going to taste like. That is very sophisticated. Mm, I would have that more with like dinner. It has more of a hearty, like a hearty um, taste to it. Let me just take one more. Mm, yes, girl. You could drink this. It's not sweet. It's not very sweet. It has like a hinting of sweet, but not like your Moscato sweet or your Riesling sweet. It's not that sweet. It's definitely not sweet. It's more of a, a flavor thing. Mmm, not bad. Let's see what the bottle says. This wine is crafted for everyday enjoyment. Our Chardonnay showcases flavors of ripe pear and apple, complemented by notes of vanilla and a touch of oak. Yeah, I see that. Okay. All right, guys. So our next bottle of wine is the Josh Sellers Rosé. That's the bottle. Super cute. It's another twist top. And I'm not sure if it's sweet, if it's not, but this is supposed to be one of the ones that the young lady picked out that said was very popular in the area for spring wine. So let's taste it and see what it did. Mmm, this is another beautiful wine. Let's see what the back says. Our rosé is crisp, refreshing, and bright, light with flavors of wine, peach, and strawberry, and scents of nectarine. Perfect for sunsets and summer days. I can see that. It's definitely something that you can enjoy on a warm day. I would say this is a wine to drink if you like wine. If you are not that great big of a wine um, drinker consumer and you just like to have something sweet and something to the point, then that's fine. But if you want something just a little bit more sophisticated, just a little bit more um, advanced, I would say that this one would be it. It's delicious. I feel like a grown woman. Cheers to that. <laughs> Okay, so obviously everybody doesn't like a light colored wine, lighter wines, and there's other wines that you can try out there. Okay, so just in case you're still in your uh, red wine phase and you don't want to go white with the, the lighter wines, okay, no problem. What I heard is very popular right now is this particular um, wine is called Concord by Pennsylvania Clover Hill. It's a local brand and here it is And I'm gonna pop that cork and see what it do. So let's get to it okay, Pop that off like a pro <laughs> Okay, guys, so we're going to try this um, Concord red wine, and I'm going to pour a little in a glass. Mmm, super sweet. Oh, I smell it through the uh, glass. It's super sweet. 
It reminds me of a, well, let's take a taste, hold up. Mm. Mm. That is super sweet. That tastes like straight up grape juice. Concord grape juice is delicious. Let me see, it's 12% by volume alcohol. So I almost thought I was drinking Welch's for a second there. Let's see what the bottle says. Concord is the sweetest of our red wines and possibly the most aromatic. A true American grape variety. It shows this with this unmistakably grapey aroma. Concord brings back memories of the backyard grapes. Let's see. Mmm, I must agree. It's almost like an upgraded teleport girl. Mmm. All right, so the last thing I asked the lady was for a uh, box wine, and she actually went and picked this out. It's called Black Box, and she got the Cab Sauvignon because I love Cab. <laughs> I just call it Cab. But um, this comes in a regular big box, and you can also get them in these cute little um, pouch boxes like this, which I really love. I think that's so cute, quick, and easy on the go. And it tells you that um, it equals three glasses. It equals three glasses of wine. You see that? Isn't that cute? I think that is so cute. Let's go ahead and taste this wine. That's red, honey. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. Not that bad. Okay. So it's a cab. I love cab. Um, I usually like it dry. I wouldn't say this is a very dry cab. I would say that this is on the sweeter and lighter side of cab which isn't bad at all and um definitely worth a try i'm gonna just take one more sip okay it is definitely dry and um not that bad it's not too bad i'm actually pleasantly surprised let me check and see what the box says it says rich aromas of dark fruit complemented by a, a deep Lush body, the finish is soft and long with lingering notes of berry. I have to agree. Very sophisticated. I'm thinking this is something that you would want to sip on for a period of time. Just slow sip. Not that bad. But um, before I drink any more wine or I get a little tongue-tied, <laughs> I'm going to wrap this video up, y'all. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with uh, Tiffany Marie from Review TV. And it was such a pleasure. I had so much fun reviewing these wines. Now that we did a basic review, the next time I come and bring some wines, I'll bring like something a little bit more specific and, you know, directed towards something. See you next week. Please like, share, and subscribe to this video.